Hello, welcome and welcome back if you're returning. Today's video is a couple of different thrift hauls that I've combined. Um, I found it quite difficult actually, uh, thrifting, because I'm, I need things specifically and I don't know what it's like for you but when I go out and I see things this and that and I think oh I can use that there and I can use this. I'm not doing that because I need specific items. A lot of it is storage and things that I maybe, you know, will sell on. Um, but there are so many beautiful items out there. I'm, for some reason, I'm very drawn to religious memorabilia at the moment. I don't know why, uh, but there, there seems to be a lot of it. I'm, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing a lot of pictures, a lot of um, uh, ornaments, things like that. So I'm not picking them all up, obviously, because I'm, I'm having to downsize all my items and I am going to start selling some of them I think because I realized with the move that I have such a lot of stuff. Um, this uh, wreath was just really especially for the money six dollars as you can see I threw that in my basket uh, depending on where you go as well some of these floral arrangements are really quite nice it's just the, the price that puts me off you, it's hit and miss absolutely sometimes you can go in there and it'll be a couple of dollars the next time you go in it'll be 10 12 15 dollars so again it's hit and miss with me but I always do enjoy the the greenery uh, I always try and pick some up when whenever it's available Um, I have a couple of upcoming videos. I'm going to be doing uh, house plants. I'm trying to add more ha house plants into my decor, and also um, my outdoor. I'm going to be redoing my outdoor spaces. I actually got rid of a lot of my stuff when we moved, um, so I'm going to try and fix up my backyard on a budget and i have picked up a few things but that's as i said coming up in an upcoming video this particular red vase this was a real blast from the past my mum had one almost identical to this and she had a green one as well and it just I looked at it and I thought it's so funny you know that was probably 30 years ago if not longer and um, another and a continent away and it just shows how fashion and home decor doesn't matter where you are in the world if it's in style it's in style everywhere so that that really did take me back to mom's uh, mom's living room just in, in one foul swoop found these three little bunny jars and they were so cute I would have actually picked them up um, had I not been getting rid of Easter decor but they were really quite pretty I like this uh, this container as well but I didn't like the uh, picture on it I, I suppose I could have painted it out but again unless I have a, a need for things now I'm trying to keep to what I only necessarily need it's not working very well, but I'm trying. I found these seven little etched glass dessert bowls, trifle bowls, and I thought they were really beautiful. They had very, well, no damage on them at all. They just had a little bit of the gold trim had worn down. Um, I was very tempted to buy them. I didn't because I'm trying to stick by my rule, but uh, that was a hard one to pass up. These uh, canisters, kitchen canisters, these are very popular still. I like, I prefer the ones with the wooden lids on them. Um, I'm seeing very, them very few and far between. These were great and I would have picked these up, but I noticed that 
there was a little bit of damage and they were quite uh, stained and I figured even if I painted over them the stain would come through it was like an oily stain but I do like to pick up the canisters for the kitchen and they sell very very well I nearly picked up this little blue Y scale. I love the colour of it. It wasn't particularly vintage, but it did miss the actual cup for the weighing. Um, and I think if the cup had been there, it probably would have cost a lot more. I also left this. I really like that, the jar. But I do have some of these that I have finished, or ready to be finished and, and repainted. Um, and again, like I said, I, I'm trying to be good and, and leave things behind that I don't absolutely need or can sell on. I looked at this little basket it was I think it was it was a silly price it was six dollars so it wasn't too bad I have got a few of these um, that one had the the was coming away at the corner this greenery bunch was great um, I thought but it, it was just seemed to be like a big ball of the greenery there was no actual stem or foundation from it, it just seemed to be a ball of, of ivy I regret not picking that up because I could have used that even in the backyard but at the time it was just like I said it was a big ball of ivy and I thought I couldn't be bothered. And now for my thrift haul, um, a couple of things I don't normally buy, these are for the garden, they're in great condition, really good price, great for slipping on and off and these are a pair I've been looking for brand new found them for six dollars and they are like new um, always love a nice silk scarf and this one is from Paris and this was a real find I thought in the bag it looked like sheets and I was hoping um, but this is even better it's um, a little bit unusual size of the fabric but I'm sure I can piece it together and make something great I just love green toile and it's something I don't see very often and for 4 dollars you can't go wrong Uh, I think you saw this during my shopping trip. This was $6, so that's going to be for the backyard. This piece is going inside a picture frame. And these two little frames are part of my upcycle for this week. And red velvet, never ever say no to red velvet. So this is a picture frame. This is $4 and it's um, quilted. Uh, it's actually sewn on the um, on the paper so this is going to go inside you can see American quilting art this is going to go inside an existing picture frame I thought that looked really nice in the kitchen the blues the shades of blue um, there's the red velvet it's a really nice quality it's nice and thick and then these two I have an upcycle set up um, which is following this at the end of this video So this is my French country frame flip so what I did was um, I got my homemade chalk paint this I like to use as a base layer for most things it's um, obviously it's a lot cheaper because it's homemade and then that saves the better paint for the top layers um, so I coated both picture frames with this two layers on the actual picture so you couldn't see the picture anymore and then I gave the frames two coats um, not full coverage just a, a quick coverage so that you could still see a little bit of the frame um, but most of it was the uh, the white I then took a cream once this was done and added a layer of cream just a light layer just to give it a little bit more depth and then once that was done I took the decoupage paper that I used last week in the uh, for the clock and the actual picture the piece that I cut out for the face of the clock fit perfectly in this space that's why I decided to use it um, so the first lastly I took a gave it a quick layer of the varnish which is the copper 
varnish that I use on or finished all my projects with just recently and then use the decoupage a layer of decoupage underneath the tissue paper and a layer on top <laughs> 